All right, we're back with another ice conditions update. First off, we'll uh, we'll start at Westwind Resort because that's where we're at right now. We rented one of their uh, sleeper houses and we were out fishing today. About five and a half to six inches roughly out. Uh, there's a, a couple of cracks that they, they actually closed the public access today to, the, to uh, people that haven't reserved uh, sleepers or cabins just to try to keep the traffic a little bit lower I think is what it is. But uh, there's a few cracks out there. Actually uh, some of them are, are opened up a little bit. Uh, the wind was out of the east southeast today so it didn't really help help much and the wind is going to switch though it's supposed to be out of the northwest tomorrow uh, so i think starting tonight it's supposed to switch so that's that's going to help some uh, fishing for us uh, was a little bit slower we didn't get out though until about three o'clock we got here a little bit later today uh, fletcher outdoors was here all day today he caught a few he came in for for lunch and stuff and then went out back with us uh, this afternoon but he was out this morning and it was a he said it was a little bit slower. He was out about as far as you could go, but there, there is going to be a lot of pressure out there. There's there's quite a few portables out there, a lot of people moving around and stuff. So so guys, if you come up here to West Wind and you head out ice fishing, definitely listen to the resort. You don't need to be wandering off, crossing areas that they haven't allowed people to go to yet. Uh, bring ice cleats, uh, but stay safe. Uh, it's still early. The ice is building. There's going to be lots of time to ice fish, so be safe when it's still early. Because that's, that's one thing, the, if you go too far, the resort actually will come out and, and get you, round you up by snowmobile, and it, you know, it, it could put them at risk too. And, and the, we're talking about ice cleats, yeah, it, the, the ice is really kind of like uh, small chunks frozen up, yep. so there, there's a lot of lips and stuff, so it's, it's not like horrible walking, but ice cleats definitely would will definitely make it easier. Uh, just just to add, uh, they've got they've got a few sleepers that they park on shore and they rent out. Really good price. Actually, really really nice houses. This is I was I'm really impressed with uh, with their houses and stuff. So if you're looking to get up on Red Lake, make sure you contact Westwind Resort. So talk to Wes Harder. He was out and checked ice. Uh, says there's about three to five inches out to about six feet. So nothing fishable yet. Don't don't uh, go ahead and out there yet. It hopefully. The forecast doesn't look real great now. It looks like it's going to get a little bit warmer, but um, hopefully these temps will drop a little bit and start start building. Now the there's been progress made because when we were out there just a couple days ago, there was open water just a few hundred yards from shore. That now looks like it's froze up, but there looks like there's some open water farther out. So there's it's you know it's it's not been super cold. We've had a couple of really good nights here, so still have a little bit of a ways to go over on Lake of the Woods out of the world area. Moving up to Baudet, talked to uh, Marshall from Lake Road Lodge tonight on the phone. He says they made some progress. They're still not completely locked up yet. Still need some more cold temperatures. Need this wind to lay down. That's kind of one of the bigger things too. But uh, still, some progress has been made, but still not uh, nothing much going on. I haven't heard anything personally about Zippel Bay. I know I think some guys are out there spearing, and, and Zippel Bay's got something going on in the bay there. Uh, so that's one thing you could check if you're really wanting to get up on Lake of the Woods if you want to spear some pike or tip ups or something like that. But other than that, Lake of the Woods has still got uh, still got a ways to go, unfortunately. Hopefully it'll get cold and that'll lock up pretty soon. Now out in Vermilion, uh, there is some ice forming out there as well. Sounds like most of the lake is locked up. I'll check in with uh, Daryl next week on Vermilion and see what's going on out there. Devil's Lake, still nothing out there. Mark doesn't is not going to give a nice report until next week. He says it's super sketchy. So that's what's going on right now. Uh, from what we know, fishing was a little bit slow for us, but we were just kind of on the move, experimenting. But we did hear some guys that, that did really well. Uh, actually, a couple, two, three parties we were up at uh, the resort having supper tonight, and we did hear that some guys did do pretty good out there. So uh, we'll probably have another ice update on Red Lake. Uh, we're going to be up here for the next couple, two, three days, so we'll... We'll check in with you and, and give you some more updates. But appreciate you watching and hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors. We'll see you on the next one.